Hi, everyone. Um, it's a little strange that I can't see myself. But anyways, thank you, Peters Valley, for organizing this. This is also my first um, Zoom art show. Um, my name is Miriam Jacobs. I have a fine art background, um, but I've been um, veering off into some other worlds. Um, I still do some uh, clay work and figure drawing, and I cannot resist. Uh, Kate Hawes, if you're still there, um, I signed up for a workshop, a carving workshop with my daughter who's on, on, online right now. Um, and I did my first carved spoon. I cannot wait to do it again. Um, absolutely can't wait to do some more carving. So you were in, inspirational to, for me to see. So um, uh, somewhere along the line, I stumbled into surface design and largely into um, a method called Disperse dye. Disperse dye is a hybrid between um, painting and printmaking. And what happens is you work on paper with dyes. You can also use crayons. The crayons can be commercially bought or um, your own homemade crayons. Um, because commercially bought crayons only give you eight colors. And of course, um, how can you only work with eight colors? So I make my own. You can make your own stencils, and you can also buy things or find things that have texture um, and do rubbing. Or you can use your crayons as, as drawing tools. What happens is you take, when your papers are dry, I'm gonna move the um, laptop in a second. You take your papers, and this is my small press. I have a large one. You prep, put them on the, your press, and you put your fabric on top, parchment paper, close your press in 30 seconds, and you have your print. So you can leave your print very um, simple with only one layer of app color application, or you can make it more complex. One thing that I find sort of interesting about dispersed dye is that you can go in a craft direction and or a fi um, fine art. Um, one of the sort of more craft kinds of things that you can do, um, I bought a white tie. Oh, it looks like my time is up. So that's an extra. Have a few, no, you have a little bit of time left. Okay. So this would be for someone who is sort of extroverted. This would be for a sort of quieter person. I got my print onto a pillow. And um, another thing about this first die is that you can take the papers that you have printed, cut them up, and make them into collages. So this is one of the pieces that's in the show. Um, and all these are made from pieces of paper from this process that were already printed. You can also frame your pieces as a, an art print. Um, and I had some uh, archival prints made. So it can take you in um, a lot of different directions. So that's my, my spiel. <laughs>